this is a long question here about a background. Uh, you know, and many of us have backgrounds like this, where they were kind of traumatized by religion. Uh, you know, they grew up in a in a church, uh, and uh, you know, just like you know, had had kind of a bad experience, and then they're trying to figure out like how to reconcile their interest now in religion, maybe a different religion, Buddhism, for example, with the with the old uh, heritage. So here's a couple of questions here. Is there such a thing as a spiritual heritage in a family akin to a lineage? Which is a difficult question, I think. Uh, we, have, we have the families we have for a reason. Th- those are very strong karmas. The, the, karma, the, the, the karmas that we share with our fathers and mothers and sisters, brothers, are very strong. We, we have been with those people many, many times in the past those beings. Uh, and so there is a sense in which there is a kind of a, there, a kind of a group karma. So, you know, it's not an accident, for example, if you were born into a Catholic family. That's not accidental. You, you created the karma to be born in a Catholic family. So there is a kind of a, there is a kind of a group karma. On the other hand, there isn't a group karma. There's a, there's an individual perception of a group karma. You have an individual perception that other people, like your father and your mother, your, bro- your brother and sister, have similar karmas as you do, right? Because you grew up in the same home with the same like background and so forth. But that's ultimately only an individual perception. But uh, but individually, we have karmas to work out. With, you know, individually, you know, if you were born in a Catholic Catholic household, for example. Uh, that's a karma that you have to work out. Uh, you know, it was a, there was a reason for that. There was a reason for that. And uh, one of the best things that you can do, I think, from, uh, speaking from experience here, uh, with a problematic religious background, is to make peace with it. To really make peace with it. And realize that you wouldn't have been led to your recent interest in Buddhism, for example, had you not had that background in Catholicism. Okay? So you can just be really thankful for, for the for the Roman Catholic nuns that smacked your your your, your knuckles over and over again. <laughs> From your perspective as a scholar and as a Lama, is it possible to reconcile and or integrate the two religions? Yes, definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, I think the deeper you understand, the deeper that you study religions, the the more connections you see between them. The more you understand about any any one religion, you more more you understand that it is that it is connected. That all religions are fundamentally connected. There are there are differences in expression. There are differences in emphasis. There's differences in you know how you name things, like how you name God and what you think God is. You sometimes say God is a positive thing, God is a negative thing, but uh, but fundamentally what they're pointing to is the same thing. And, uh, and at the ethical level, there's not, you don't even have to work at it. At the ethical level, they're all teaching the same thing. Dalai Lama says that pretty regularly. Mm-hmm.